Okay, um, so there was one other um, question. Steve Morley, he's asked online, um, is short duration pulse DMF uh, with high intensity short pulses more effective than longer sessions at lower intensities? Um, okay, so in my experience, there, there, there are two different types. And now the, the high intensity and high frequency work much better for acute conditions. So let's say that you were out playing football today and somebody, you know, you got hurt, you pulled the muscle, strained the ligament, um, that acute injury, which is usually within 24 to 48 hours, will respond initially much better to uh, high frequency, high intensity. Whereas when you're looking at um, long-term healing, reduction of scar tissue, um, in, uh, healing of actual uh, uh, tissue that's damaged, um, you want to work with, say, uh, a lower frequency range. M my machine, when I'm doing more therapeutic work, is in a range of about 1 to 30. Uh, that's the primary range that I work with. Um, for more, When I have people who have more severe pains, um, I'll go up to, say, 100 uh, hertz. And then when it's a severe, acute, uh, like somebody comes into me that day, they hurt themselves in a fall. Uh, I had a client, older client, she fell last week on her way to see me. Um, oh. which was unfortunate. So she was uh, she had some abrasions all over her leg and uh, a bruise on her um, on her left oh. knee. So we treated with the pillow. We did a high frequency, high intensity. Um, she told me at the end of the session that day there was no pain. She walked out of there. She said she wasn't feeling any pain. Wow. Um, and over the next couple of days, she also gets colloidal silver for me. So she sprayed the, uh, the abrasions with colloidal silver. And um, that was last week, Tuesday. She came in today to see me again. And there, there wasn't much there, and she was walking fine. And she said there's been no pain. So, the the, the settings um, they're going to depend on the application. Uh, you definitely don't want to use high intensity, high frequency over the long term. That that could be detrimental. Whereas you don't want to um, for acute immediate injuries, low frequency, low intensity is not going to do very much. It's going to have very little effect. 